must keep climbing. You know he's at the top. Dude's got an ego. Was but a matter of time. Just gonna let it ride. Let it ride! I cannot keep up with you. Nor will it avail us to make a stand here. You must go on without me. Find Elidibus and stop him. Worry not, my friend. Though I am no warrior, I have learned to hold my own over the years. When first we explored this tower, you and your fellow adventurers formed the van, while I was left to follow in your wake. Suffice it to say, I was not best pleased with the arrangement. How I wished that I could join you. And now I have, here where it all began. I was right to trust in you, and the power of your legacy of your name, to let them guide my every deed. For Elidibus is my name, and my mission, guiding my every deed. This means I did, but I chose not to walk them, thank the gods. Why ever would you ask me such a thing? Elizabeth spoke in similar terms, you say. How curious. To answer your question, then. I made my choice for reasons which seemed obvious to me, but may not to any other. There were the expectations I placed upon myself before beginning my slumber, and the expectations of those who roused me. Of course, I had the choice to turn my back on a lot of it, but in the end, it was no choice at all. I cherish the time I spent with you and the others. What I wouldn't give to return to those halcyon days. Chasing ancient secrets, overcoming trial after trial with the aid of like-minded comrades. And what remarkable comrades they were. In such company, I felt as if I were a character in the epic tales that had stirred my heart as a boy as if my dream had come true. It hadn't, of course, for I was no hero, neither then nor after. Though the world to which I awakened and the first were beset with myriad problems, 
I rarely knew how best to play my part. There was, however, one thing of which I was certain, that I could not bear to let those dear to me meet a tragic end. I'm afraid our time is up. Go! Rest assured, you haven't seen the last of me. I wouldn't dream of playing my trump card save in your presence. Memories of a possible future. Worthless, all. Worthless as memories of the only past. Fated to fray and fade into oblivion. Leaving naught but a gaping void. The Waking Sands. Yes, that was the place. The place I first made myself known to you and yours. The Seventh Rejoining had left the realm listing dangerously towards darkness, and events were unfolding that threatened to push it over the brink. Thus did I approach you in my capacity as emissary, thinking that you would make a useful pawn. But I was wrong. And for my misstep did La Habrea and Emmet Selk pay the ultimate price, leaving me the last of the unsundered. My remaining brethren, fragmented as they are, cannot hope to see our mission to its end. It falls to me alone. Defeat is not an option. I will strike you down. I will resurrect Lord Zodiac, and I will bring back those who sacrifice themselves to call him forth. Though it take a thousand, thousand years, Upon my honor as Elidibus, emissary of the Convocation of Fourteen, I will see this done. Not gonna end the way you think, dude. About to put you down! Yep. Uh, one, one 
you are no more. However hard you struggle, you'll never bring back the convocation. I don't know that I like either of those. Um... Yeah, I mean, like, in the end, the convocation's gone. Like, you can't, you can't do, like, it's, it's gone. What of it? I have my mission. I am Elidibus, and it is my duty to steer mankind and the very star upon their true course. This I swore to, to someone. We spoke, and I swore. What? What did I... <laughs> this pain, this torment, is nothing, no more than must be suffered to deliver the world from its doom, no more than any of you malformed creatures have known. Even should you lose all that is dear to you, even should it cost you your life, you bear the burden and fight on, kicking and screaming until your last breath is spent! Aye, it's true. We've lost much and more. Known unimaginable suffering, but through it all, we never, ever forgot what was dear to us. And that's what gave us the strength to carry on. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, that's the one! Oh, my God. from beyond the rift heed my call the time is come to deliver your brethren from darkness my heart's sole desire is a world free of sorrow join with me now in hope and prayer for the salvation of all oh boy here we go oh boy If you would usher in the end, then with my all shall I oppose you. As the avatar of those mortal heroes who fought unfalteringly in all their imperfection. As the warrior of light incarnate. Come, warrior of darkness. Let us finish this. My name? Oh, you really done screwed up now. An invocation 
of Eld. Though not of Hydaelyn's making. What are you? No. It matters not. You are the enemy. And you will fall. Even should it cost me everything, I will not forsake my duty. All right. For my people, for our world, I will strike you down. He's already lost. <laughs> Look at this team. Oh, goodness. I have no idea what this fight's going to be. All right. Never stopped me before. Let's do this thing. Uh, actually, I need to eat a whole pizza first. Yum. Okay. This battle shall be our last. Oh, that is nasty. It's like a fallen one ability. I avoid that? Uh-oh. I don't know what that means! Oh, that was a move? Whoops. I'm so stalwart, I don't need to move. Darkness must be destroyed. As I, as I immediately move. It's gonna be that kind of fight, huh? Gleaming <laughs> steel, light my path. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! For some reason, I thought the inside would be safe. Don't know why that was the case. Oh, hell no. I'm ready. I'm ready. Spam them keys. We already spam it. I don't know what's about to happen. Mm -mm. Whoop! You! I'm so ew! What the shit? It's a clicker! It's a clicker! It's a clicker! Oh, I wasn't prepared for the clicker! I should have been prepared. I've been clicking this entire damn game. You click.
clutch the crystal of Azim to your breast and wish upon it with all your heart. Oh, he got cocky as hell. Knock, knock, bitch. <laughs> Yo! No, it cannot be! Incredible! Amazing. You know what? To me, warriors of light! I am salvation given for. Mankind's first hero and his final hope! For victory, I render up my all! Oh no. Your demise will be our salvation. Ooh, he's got four! Uh, gang? I'm just gonna... You still stand, Ben. Be gone, spawn of shadow. Is this one of the ones where I keep moving? Wasted my one damn ability. Darkness must be destroyed. Jumping around. I don't I want to be with you Oh well, good night everybody
darkness must be destroyed! My beauty! No, not yet! Oh, I don't know what this means. just did good work good work <laughs> you're just mocking him this dude became the warrior of light the the warrior of light got his ass kicked by a bunch of lala fells uh Frog with a tail. <laughs> Legend of Zelda character. Whatever the hell this thing is. <laughs> His brother. And an Imperial Dancer. Turned Rift Dancer. Still got his ass beat. That was great. That was great. <laughs> Fool. You have achieved nothing. I am immortal. Yet I will never surrender. <sighs> Illidibus. So fixated were you on my memories of the future, you failed to heed the lessons of the past. This boy. Your obsession blinded you to the true nature of this tower, this beacon of hope for mankind. Created to serve as a reservoir for the limitless energy of the heavens, to harness and bind the boundless. Not unlike white orosite. Your ill-begotten power. Obtained by exploiting that which is best in us. I shall have it. Your soul and all! Someone rewind the footage! Find that clip! Find that clip! You know how this right there, this, even though it's out of focus as I as it's nighttime, but this is perfect. You know how this is like the corrupted uh, ether that was being used to charge and power um, uh, uh, the the machine that was making Bahamut regenerate, right? You know how that was happening, and you know how the crystal tower over there like has magic powers that like can open gates and shit. Uh, in the cutscene, they were saying. That the ether is, is used in the, like, trapping, right? Because the crystals that I have where I trap the primals, right? And then I have the crystals that trap the dude, right? If this is trapped ether, but it's corrupted and it's powering him, this right there is how we defeat the, the Asians. Convinced of it. 
This right here. Remember when the remember when the cat guy was like the cat guy was like, bro, I'll be back one day. Right here. Right here. The crystal tower is one giant trap. And it's gonna suck up all the baddies. The end. The end. Hell yes, that was great. Save everyone. This, I believed. Yet still they cried out in rage and despair. Divided over the fate of the star. A rare occurrence, always fleeting. But not this time. Not this time. Reconciliation, Elizabeth. I was needed. I withdrew myself from Zodiac for them. My people, my brothers, my friends. Stay strong, keep the faith. At duty's end, we will meet again. We will. We will. The rains have ceased, and we have been graced with another beautiful day. But you are not here to see it. I concede I may have overexerted myself. Steady now and listen. I told you before that I had a plan and that when all is said and done, I would ask a favor of you. We have averted the eighth umbral calamity, found a way for everyone to return to the source, and last but not least, we have secured the future of all the people of Norvrand. We have won, my friend. So, I hope you'll forgive me this moment of selfishness and while I wouldn't want you to feel obliged. Promise me you'll take me on your next adventure. A journey. Together.
got so many ask. Could have asked earlier. Oh, that's a good one, too. I promise. <sighs> if I were to tell you that this isn't the end, that we will meet again, would you believe me? My friend, with you, my mind and memory shall travel to the ends of the world and beyond. But in this place shall my body stand immovable. May it serve as an undying promise, not only to those who look to me for leadership, but to any soul who has known despair that hope is everlasting. Exarch would remain, keeping his silent vigil. When the Scions were not released from his summoning spell, we proceeded with the plan to return them to the Source. The Warrior of Darkness, however, retained his ability to traverse the two worlds at will. And in time, the Crystal Tower became a symbol of his link to the First, and of hope. I'm about to be heartbroken by this. Oh, full glad I am to see you are safe and well. Rumors spoke of strange, spectral foes bent on your destruction. But would the sky return to normal? I assume all is well again. So, to what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? Oh, hell no.
Is that Adbert's crystal? So it is. It has changed, but I would know it anywhere. However, did you come by it? Then, even in death, his enemies found a way to profit from his sacrifice. Oh, it grieves me to think of his body being used for evil ends. You know, I was right there. That's why I kicked that guy's ass. But, thanks to you, his honor is restored. And he may finally find peace. No words can express my gratitude. I will keep this crystal safe to the end of my days. Rest easy, my friend. You have earned it. Seto, my old friend. You've grown. Oh, oh, Artbert, how I've missed you. I'm sorry I couldn't keep you safe or even console you. Had I only learned to speak sooner, I would have told you how much you meant to me. How much I cared. I knew. I always knew. But I'm happy to hear it nonetheless. Thank you, Seto my partner in crime. I see. His journey continues. Then, I will not yet bid him rest. With you, he may look forward to many more adventures. It has been a while since last I flew. Perhaps I too will go on a little adventure? Ride the winds, seek the horizon? Yes, I think perhaps I will. I need someone to animate him chasing down those kids at the end of Neverending Story as they jump into the dumpster. Thank you.
With little JC on his back, like, yeah! <laughs> oh, that was great! I, that was totally unexpected. I didn't even, it didn't even cross my mind that we'd come back here. Master Matoya. <laughs> For too long, I have remained silent, but no longer. I could not bear it if you were to leave. Please, stay. I beg of you. I'm gonna let this play. <laughs> Please. I jest, at least in part. What I came to say is this. Thank you. Without your wisdom, your strength, and your kindness to guide us, our people would still be lost. We will never forget you, Master Matoya. Wherever your journeys may take you, you will always be in our hearts. <laughs> and you in mine. Remember that your people's journey, that our people's journey, is yet ongoing. Your lives will change, and so too will your dreams. Yet come what may, you need not forsake your time-honored traditions, nor less your beliefs. But neither should you be beholden to them. For it was with curiosity and courage that the Knights Blessed first triumphed over adversity. New knowledge and new wisdom are ever worthy of pursuit. Indeed they are. And so, until we return to the Sunless Sea, we shall endeavor to live our lives to the fullest. That is well. But however great your strides, there may yet come a day when the challenges you face cannot be surmounted alone. On such a day... On such a day? You may call on me. Since a means to travel between worlds exists, you can be sure I will find a way to employ it. And there remain so many mysteries here that want for solving. Girl! <laughs> Master Matoya! <laughs> Runa, really? That's everyone, then. We've all said what we needed to. Even as we speak, Becklug undertaketh their final inspection of our spirit vessels. When thine own preparations for the journey are complete, thou art to present thyself in the ocular. Um, everyone? I want to thank you all, on behalf of the First. You, and Minfilia, and the Exarch. Without each and every one of you guiding us, fighting for us, we wouldn't be standing here now. There wouldn't even be a here. And no words can express our gratitude.
We still have a lot to do. Countless trials to overcome. But if it ever seems too much, I'll think of our time together. The happy moments, and the sad. I will remember it all. And it will give me the strength to carry on without you. Because you made me who I am. Minfilia. Reen. To honor these names and these memories, I will stand with all the people of this land and strive for a better tomorrow. Tancred, I believe the honor of responding should rightfully be thine. Have they implemented hug technology into this game yet? <laughs> I know better than most how much you've grown, and I have every confidence you'll make your people proud. Gods know I'm proud of you. I always will be. You deserve all the happiness in the world, and more. Might we also say a few words? Why, this is just about all of you. To see you off seemed the least we could do. You risked your all for us, fought for a realm not your own. Before you came, we had never known the beauty of the night sky. Or the joy of your company. Though it saddens us deeply, to bid you farewell, it has ever been our way to send off friends with a smile. Wherever your road should lead, we shall pray for your safety. And following your brave example, we shall continue to fight for the Crystarium. With or without us, you've always taken good care of this city. I don't doubt for a moment you'll continue to do so. I. A more resilient people we have never known. As resilient and enduring as the tower that watches over you. To the last, we did not question the Exarch about his past. It is only now, when he can no longer tell us, that we believe we know the answer. We have heard what became of him, and what is about to be attempted. All will be well. Of this we are certain. How could it be otherwise, when every soul in the Crystarium is praying for it with all their heart? And so, when our Lord awakens, I bid you give him a message. Tell him he needn't worry about us. That he need no longer hide who he truly is. 
that he should live his own life to the fullest. And that if he should ever find himself reminiscing on the past with a smile, we shall be smiling with him. Will you tell him this? Thank you. Please look after him for us. I dare say we have all the good wishes we can carry. Let us be on our way. Proceed as instructed, beginning with your memories. I love that they included Angelo in this. Doesn't need to be there. Don't care. The first step is complete. And all appeareth to be in order. Well, that just leaves our souls then. <laughs> have received of both their memories and their souls. I hereby entrust them to your care. They belong to you now. Just be sure to guard them well, yes? This will work, won't it? Our theories have held thus far, but I make no promises about what is to come. Even the greatest mages in history knew better than to transport a soul across the rift. We, my dear, are in unknown territory. Prepare as we might, we cannot account for all possibilities, and it is in such circumstances that accidents are wont to occur. Yet miracles do happen, so let us pray and will our friends home. I won't stop praying until I know they're safe. All safely stowed away? I do hope so. All that remains then is to step into the mirror. 
Go now, and safe travels. Did it? Are we? That's right. The Lalafell saved you. Once again. You're welcome. World. She get a great outfit. <laughs> Thank you. My body feels like a sack of papotas, but otherwise, I have never felt better. That said, I doubt any of us will be fit to travel for some while. May we leave the rest to you? Possession, the way will surely open before thee. Let's go. What? But you've only just got here. Tataru, might I trouble you to brew us all a pot of your special tea? Ah, and we may require an extra cup.
Yours is a long road, my friend, and it stretches onto places beyond imagining. With your every step, these grand adventures shall grow more distant and faint. And there may come a day when you forget the faces and voices of those you have met along the way. On that day, I bid you remember this. That no matter how far your journey may take you, you stand where you stand by virtue of the road you walked to get there. For in times of hardship, when you fear you cannot go on, the joy you have known, the pain you have felt, the prayers you have whispered and answered, they shall ever be your strength and your comfort. This I hope, I believe, here at memory's end. Just got like dust in my eyes or something from staring at the computer screen so long, that's all. That's all, it's fine. Are you all right? Do you still feel under the weather? Physically, I couldn't be better. Thanks to Kryle's ministrations, I'm already looking forward to our next fight. <laughs> she came back twice as sassy. But seriously, don't you have anything to say about that? Tara's like, that's right, I did all of it. <laughs> no less impressive than our garments. You've outdone yourself, Tataru. Where it's due, I had help from a certain fiery pixie who visited me in my dreams. They gave me all the information I needed to get the details just right. For your weapons, though, I needed a lot more help. Thankfully, <laughs> our favorite heads of state were happy to place their finest craftsmen at my exclusive disposal. But <laughs> mine are cards. Oh, and speaking of the Alliance leaders, they all express their unreserved elation at your safe return and promise to come and see you in person as soon as they can. They really needn't have gone to such trouble. But we'll be keeping these gifts all the same. <laughs> Do pass on our gratitude. I realize we haven't taken up new martial arts, nor have I ever been one to set much store by appearances. But I can't help feeling a certain lack of... I don't know... 
personal development. <laughs> oh. I quite understand. But as you observed, the others had the more pressing need. Rest assured, our turn will come. Spend any more ether, I swear I will blink out of existence. I need a bite to eat. <laughs> Got that bread. <laughs> Tataru, a cup of tea, if you would be so kind, and something sweet. That woman is holding this entire operation together. Without My her- Mistress <sighs> Kryle's exhausted state. May I assume that the ward has been restored? Indeed. We succeeded in weaving it anew, albeit at a slightly diminished potency than when I had Beck Lug's assistance. It is no cause for concern though. The tower is not easily reached, never mind breached. And even should some few succeed, their presence won't escape my notice. Excellent. Said duty thus discharged, thou art free to go wheresoever thy fancy taketh thee. Upon which note, hast thou perchance come to a decision? The offer remaineth open. Well, if you're certain that's what you... I am. Uh, I, I mean, if you think I. <laughs> I was about to say. <sighs> right. I accept. Henceforth, I shall count myself a scion of the Seventh Dawn. Grahatia, at your service. When I was a boy, many long years ago, I yearned to stand tall as the heroes of Eld. But, like a fool, Seeking to pluck the stars from the heavens, my every attempt to reprise their deeds fell short. Help! Somebody help! <laughs> Hippogriffs! Hippogriffs on the rampage! A giant flock of them! Please, oh. we need help! I could do with a little rampage myself. What? N now wait, just a... <laughs> Here we go again. join the fray when I finished my tea. Thus did the avatar of destruction descend and in her wake leave naught but tears and ash. And then, one day, an all but forgotten dream from my youth stood before me in the flesh.
they literally could have ended the game right there. Like, if that was it, like, never mind. No, they couldn't have. No, they couldn't so have. it was that a new adventure began. The memory of a dying world's end. Night after night. And I thought it but a tired old dream. Who is this dude? I say. I knew that securing the palace would provide your radiance with depressingly little sport, but that you should fall asleep out of boredom. Splendid. Truly splendid. And my own preparations, you will be pleased to hear, proceed apace. Yeah, okay. Oh, yes. They proceed very well indeed. Frighteningly so. And we owe it not least of all to this singularly useful body I chance to find. So he's like an Asian, but not. With the Populares now all but destroyed, it will be the simplest of tasks to discredit their groundless assertions that I met with a grisly end. And as the very much alive Lord of House Brutus, I have a vast fortune at my disposal. Ah, money, 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 the great motivator. There is simply no better way to move men and expedite plans than with its alluring glint. Would you not agree? I can't believe they're doing this. <gasps> but wait, were we not acquainted, you and I? Anyone want a beer? I feel like... Should our familiarity cause you distress, I beg your forgiveness. <sighs> what did you say your name was? I can't... Oh! A dagger through my heart! that my deepest desire should forever remain unfulfilled, to live unrecognized, to die forgotten. <laughs> so it goes. Whatever this flesh may have been before, it serves only as a vessel now. And I, faithful Van Daniel, labor only to advance my lord's ambition. Speaking of which, with the palace in our hands, we may now proceed with the next phase of the plan. But why? But how very odd. Despite all our havoc wreaking, old Elidibus did not deign to appear. Dare I hope that the last of the unsundered is gone. It's him! <laughs> the crazy one! <laughs> Imagine it! Bound no more by the shackles of mouldering memories of damnable duty! Free at last to live for the moment! I knew they'd sh Oh, I'm so happy. We just went full Final Fantasy XI. I'm in. I'm in! Your radiance. But give the word. And I shall go forth and prepare for you your hunting ground. What? That which awaited was a foul beast. 
ferocious, ravenous, remorseless. He was my best friend. Do as you will. Yes! I'm so ready! I am... What is this next expansion going to be? I'm so excited. I'm so ready for this. It has been too, too long, my friend. And insufferably dull in your absence. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you. When you return to me. Oh my God. We'll share everything. Every blow will be a story unto itself. Every triumph. Every kill. Rest assured, we shall have a fitting stage for our reunion. Oh yes, to reprise that transcendent moment, I will set this world ablaze. We shall dance before the pyre. Oh my god. This is everything I ever wanted. It's everything I ever wanted. I am the so shall kindle the flames for of this the fight. Apocalypse. One last dance. One last dance. Into its domain shall the hero set forth for the final chapter in the tale of this star. Well, that's it. That was my 5.3 experience. That is an incredibly long ending. And like I said in the video, they could have ended the entire game right there. That was flawless. What a perfect way to conclude the entire Shadowbringer story, but also the story of almost the entire game. Uh, the fact that it, that clip exists where I'm talking about how they should end the game and how they should use the Crystal Tower to trap, like that, that just goes to show, not that I'm some sort of uh, Nostradamus character who can figure out the future, but that that early in the game, all the way back in A Realm Reborn, the plot elements existed to get to the ending we had. That the writing was so consistent that they knew the story they wanted to tell. I'm just thoroughly impressed by the entire experience. And uh, for those who are curious, I'm still playing over on twitch.tv slash jessecox. I'm enjoying the hell out of the game. Uh, I've done all the 5.45 stuff. I got my glowy weapon. Everything's lovely. And I cannot wait to see what happens. I cannot wait to go to the moon with all of you. And I cannot wait to share more videos. If you want to see any moments, if you're like, oh, I'd love to see Jesse's reaction to this scene, let me know in the comments. Maybe we'll make a video of it. Anyway, that's it for me. Thanks so much. Enjoy this little uh, video that plays before I stream. Uh, stop by sometime. I'm sure you will enjoy if you love Final Fantasy XIV.